Okay, so uh, in this next clip, we've, uh, we've used an eye lock induction with Sarah this time. Real basic and classic eye lock induction, of which um, there's an explanation, uh, uh, article and transcript um, I'm further down on this clip, you can visit my website to go and have a look at that and that, that's all explained. And then we do um, a, a, a hand stick and uh, we get Sarah's hand to be stuck to her leg and um, I'm, I'm, because I became so sure, I did uh, uh, the classic uh, Anthony Jack Quinn challenge, uh, something I first saw uh, uh, him do, which is to, um, uh, um, to offer some, some money. So if you can unstick your hand and grab the money, then you get to keep the money. Um, um, so a really nice challenge there to test the skills, make sure that we've got the phenomena, we've elicited it there. Um, so enjoy this. Have a look at the link if you're interested in, in finding out about more of how this is done. Enjoy. Right then, so, nice and comfortable. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do a little bit of something. If you do, just get yourself nice and symmetrical, balanced and comfortable. Mm -hmm. Now, in a couple of moments, I'm just going to ask you to um, um, imagine a spot like a couple of inches or a couple of centimetres um, back from, from, from the top of your forehead, okay? Just imagine that there, almost like you've got a window in the top of your head for which you're going to stare up at the ceiling with your eyes. So your eyes are going to roll up a little bit. Um, um, don't allow them. Don't allow them to get too uncomfortable. There's likely to be a little bit of discomfort. But while you have your eyes closed, I want you to imagine looking up at that. Um, and then we'll begin with this next process. Okay. So just take a slightly deeper breath as you exhale. Just allow your eyes to be comfortably closed. And then just imagine you've got that spot there on the top of your your forehead. And then just allow your eyes to roll up as if you are looking up through that at the ceiling. And just imagine your eyes rolling up, looking up through there. Now, as you continue to look up through that window in the top of your head, start to imagine that your eyelids are becoming locked into position. Just imagine it so that as you imagine it, so it begins to happen. So that as long as your eyes are fixed and looking up through that window in the top of your head, and your eyelids become comfortably, easily locked in position to the point where even if you tried to open them, they couldn't. Now when you're ready for us to begin this process and just relax your eyelids, relax your eyes, almost so that they just then sit with a sort of out of focus gaze in their sockets. Just let that happen and give me a little nod to indicate. Good. And just be comfortably breathing, naturally, easily, gently. Now, in the same way that you have eyes that see the world around you, just imagine that you have an inner eye that we often refer to as the mind's eye, or the third eye. And that mind's eye has an eyelid. And like your physical eye, that eyelid can begin to close as it too becomes heavy and tired. And just start to imagine that eyelid closing, gently shutting, and as it does, it closes out more of those stray thoughts, more stray images, allowing you to become more and more focused. And as soon as that mind's eyelid is closed, you can allow your actual eyelids to open. That's it, good. Now focus down on your right hand for a moment. Just focus on the back of your right hand. With your right hand, just Press down a little bit on your leg there, just press down a little bit, then you can stop trying. Now inside of your mind, imagine that your hand is beginning to stick to the leg. Really focus on it, look at it and notice it. At times you might even notice the difference between that hand and this one here. And as you notice your right hand, all that's left for you to begin to do is start to imagine, perhaps there's like a glue Perhaps there's some kind of adhesive that is attached to your hand that's beginning to stick it firmly and comfortably and powerfully to your leg. And just begin to engage your imagination because it's your imagination that's going to make this work now. So as your right hand there begins to sense it, maybe it feels as if your leg is holding it and supporting your hand. Or maybe it feels as if your hand is pushing down. Or maybe it feels as if the adhesive is beginning 
to just stick the two in a balanced fashion to each other. Now, initially now, just tell me, is it your palm of your hand or your fingers that feel the most stuck at this stage? Fingers. Okay, it's your fingers. Mm. And start to imagine that sensation in the fingers, and the more you notice that stick sensation, that stickiness, that locked position of the fingers, start to imagine that sensation spreading into the palm. And start to imagine that sticky, locked, more powerful sensation working into the palm, comfortably, powerfully. And have you noticed that in the palm now? Is that beginning to find that? Good, good. And how does that feel? That, that, how would you describe that sticky, stuck sensation that you are experiencing? It's comfortable. It's a comfortable mm -hmm. feeling. And just let that comfort begin to grow and expand and become more powerful and more stuck and more sticking there. Now, as soon as you are certain that if you attempted to lift your hand, you wouldn't be able to because it's so stuck, so powerfully stuck and sure and in that position, then try and lift it and realize you can't. And the more you try, the more you realize you can't, and the more it's stuck, the more amazed you can become at your own sense of brilliance now. Start to notice how powerful your mind is, and if you notice how stuck that is, and if you try to pick your hand up there and realize that you can't, Great. Absolutely sure that the more you try, the more you couldn't. Great, great. I can see some, some quivering, some shaking in your hand there, which is, which is lovely to see. Now, a little something, a little challenge I once saw Anthony Jackwin do is um, he took out a big wad of cash from his pocket, and he had about 100 quid. I usually carry around slightly more than that with me, um, um, and I'm joking to, to poke fun at Ant. Um, um, but it's about 130 pounds uh, 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 in, in my hand there. Now, if your right hand can just reach over and grab this, I'm more than happy for you to have this and take this away with you. Pretty cool, hey? I mean, heck, who knows? Um, um, uh, you could be having a great night out on me tonight. Um, um, so the more you try to, to, to take your hand from your right hand to grab this money, the more happy I'll be for you to have it, but the more stuck and perhaps the more potentially frustrating it could become. Um, I'm, I'm, are you trying? You you having a go there? I mean, I mean, you, you'd like that, right? Yes. Yeah, it'll be nice to, to have that. Um, but it's stuck there, isn't it? Yes. It's stuck there, and, and I was pretty sure that I was on a good thing. I was only going to take the money out when I saw your hand wobbling and quivering, and it's stuck there. And great, great. So, um, um, heck, Keith, Keith's smiling because he knows that. Uh, we'll keep that there. Okay. Just begin to have a good long, long look again at the back of your hand. Just take a slightly deeper breath. As you exhale, just allow your eyes to be comfortably closed. And then just begin to imagine your hand loosening, becoming soft, loose, limp, even as it's motionless. I'm just going to touch that wrist of your right hand once again now, just as I've done a couple of times before. And I'm just going to, that's it. You can just begin to let it go, let it become nice, loose, and limp. Just let it become and remain back in your conscious mind's control. And maybe just give a little wiggle with your fingers and just see how that feels good. And thank you once again, as a result of this hypnotic experience, you're becoming even more sure of the power of your own mind and the things that you can do and the capabilities that you have. And I'm just going to count from one to five to bring this session to an end. And as I'm counting, you're allowing all sensations to return to their true sense of perspective as you have the right to expect. Really notice the difference now in one, two, three, four, and five. Eyes open on five. One, two, three, four, five. Great, thank you very much. Um, I and mean, you wanted that money, right? Yes. <laughs> Great, I think we'll stop there.